I've been asked about dividing fractions recently. In fact, it seems to be one of the things that a lot of people get stuck on as far as how to teach their kids. Um, I'm just going to go through one way that you can introduce div division of fractions to children. Uh, and basically what it has to do with is naming your one. So usually with base 10 blocks, that's our one. But that doesn't have to be our one. We could say that this is one, and then that would change this to one half. We could change this to one, and then this would be one third. You could actually say that that is the same as two thirds. And then of course that would be three thirds. Um, you could change this to your one, and then this would be three fourths. That would be one half. That would be one fourth. So with all of the blocks, you can make each one of these one, depending on what fractions you want to work with each day. Um, so every single base 10 block that we have, you could allow it to be one. And if it is one, then all the other blocks will have a relationship to that block based on the fact that it's one. For example, if that's one, this is one ninth. This is one third. This is four ninths. Right? This is two thirds, but then we could also say that's two thirds. Okay, so just be creative. Now we don't have to stop when we get to, to nine here. We could also just, you know, bring one of these guys in here and say, well, that's our one. Then this would be one half. That would be one fifth. That would be one tenth. We could change this to our one. Then this would be one half. This would be one third. This would be one fourth. This would be one sixth. That would be one twelfth. Okay, so don't be afraid to make ones that are bigger than nine or even bigger than ten. Okay. Um, okay, so let's just start with something. Let's start with um, let's start with this being our one. <coughs> If that's our one, then this is one half, this is one quarter, and this is one eighth. And you can tell that that's one half because two of those fit in there, and you're taking one of the two pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. You can tell that this is one fourth because four of those fit in there, and you're just taking one of those four pieces. And the same with this. This is, each of the green ones is one eighth because eight of them fit into the, into our one. And we're just talking about taking one of them, one of the eight pieces. Okay. Why don't we divide uh, one half uh, by one quarter? So keep in mind that this was our whole one. This is our half. This is our quarter, and this is our eighth. And all this is asking is how many fourths or one or quarters fit into one half. So how many of these orange ones fit into here? Well, two of them. That's pretty easy, hey? Now we could change this around. You know, that's pretty simple. That's, a, that's not hard to do, right? But what if we took a smaller one and said, well, I want to know how many of these fit into there. So that would be one fourth divided by one half. How many halves fit into here? Well, only half of this fits into there. You can change this so that they have like denominators, right? So that they're same kinds. Well, one fourth is the same as two eighths, right? How many eighths fit in there? Two. Um, we could do uh, one eighth divided. Oh, let me erase that. One eighth. So one eighth divided by say one fourth, right? So we have this, and we want to know how many of, of these fit in there. Well, half of this fits in there because you can visually see that you can only fit half of this into here, right? 
the reason that I chose this particular one as my one is because I was thinking about doing uh, eighths and uh, fourths, right, and halves. And all of these are contained in there. There's my half, there's my fourth, there's my, my eighth. Okay, so if I've got these, as say, say the problem on the page says, well, one eighth divided by one half, then I need to choose a one that's going to be um, useful to this problem. So I need to have something that's going to have eights in it. So I could choose this one because that has eights, or I could actually say, well, let's uh, do this. Let's, let's use a 10 and a 6 because then I could make, with here I can make eights out of this, and with this I can make eights out of this because eight of these fit into there and eight of these fit into here. Let's just see what we can make from, from both of these. So, for instance, with this, this would be my half, and this would be my quarter, and this would be my eighth, okay? Um, on here, this would be my half. Uh, this would be my quarter. This would be my eighth, and then I would also have sixteenths. Now, keep in mind... Um, you can put other blocks in here, like this could be uh, 9 sixteenths, right? That would be uh, 10 sixteenths, it could be. And, or it could be, uh, what would that be, 2 4 one, five, 5 eighths, it could be 5 eighths. Um, that would be um, uh, uh, 6 eighths. Um, and so on. And then over here, this one here could be three-fourths, right? So you can play with a lot of the blocks, but basically in here you've got sixteenths, uh, eighths, uh, fourths, and halves. And in here you've got um, eighths, quarters, and um, halves, okay? But if, if you had different things. So this one here, you could do those, and then this one here, you could do sixteenths as well. So maybe I want to go one half divided by one tenth, right? Well, I can do two things here. I can say, and this is what this is asking. This is saying, how many of these can I count from, from that? How many tenths can I count from this? So it's easy to see that it was one, two, three, four, five, right? So I'll simple put that down. And or what you could say is, well, if I want to count tenths from this, can I change that into tenths? Well, sure I can. I can make that one, two, three, four, five. So there's five tenths. It's still one half, right? I still have one half, but it's five tenths. And and in five tenths. If I divide that by one-tenth, or I count tenths from it, how many of those tenths can I count from it? Well, I can count one, two, three, four, five. You can use other blocks to, to make up other problems in here. So if this is a half and that's a, t uh, a fifth and that's a tenth, well, then this would be um, uh, six-tenths. How many of these fit into there? Well, one of them, right, you can fit one and one-fifth more in there. One and one-fifth more. Do you see how I can fit a whole one of these and then one-fifth more of it in there? Okay. Didn't do a lot of, um, it didn't do a lot of symbol work here. All I did was count. I took my six-tenths, I looked, and I took my halves, and I said, how many of these fit into here? Well, one of them and a fifth more. Let's find out, because everybody knows the typical algorithm. Let's find out. Does it work? Times it by two over one, right? Well, we could do we could approach this numerous ways, but I like to do this. I like to split it up and do my prime factors, right? And then times uh, two over here, right? Over one. Well, let's see. That goes away, and then that becomes six fifths. And isn't six fifths really five fifths plus one fifth? Well, isn't that the same as one? and one-fifth, or one and one-fifth. Why don't we make these same kinds? So if this is six-tenths, right, couldn't I make this same kind? So if this is six-tenths, we could actually say, like, 
use these instead, right? So there's six tenths, right? Same thing, still have six tenths, but I've just used different blocks for it. Now, well, let's make that into tenths as well, right? I mean, you don't even really need to switch the blocks. Kids are gonna be able to see this um, after they've played with this a little bit, but at the beginning, I would switch the blocks. So five tenths, six tenths, right? And it says, I have six tenths. How many of these fit in here? Oh, well, all of these, how many, sorry, not how many of these fit in here, but how many of this much fits in here? Like, how many times can I fit this much into here? Well, I can fit it into there one time, right? And then one fifth more, right? In some ways, it might be easier to just use this because then you can say, well, that's six tenths, right? Let me do it up here. Six tenths divided by five tenths. Do you see I've just made them same kinds? Because really, isn't that six tenths? Six out of the ten, and that's five out of the ten. So I could do it this way. I don't really need to do it that way. But if you're going to use your symbols, you just show them that that's the same as six tenths. That's the same as five tenths. How many of these can I fit in here? Well, it's clear that I can fit five into six one time, and then one fifth more time. It gives you a good idea of how to start and how powerful these blocks can be.